Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the mini off-road release and I have a card to share. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new car dies off-road vehicle, the Road Less Traveled Outline dies, the Road Less Traveled stamp set, our Gnome dies, our Gnome Crossing stamp set, the Gnome dies fish, fishing add-ons, the Gnome dies sport add-ons, oops, the our border dies and our rainbow dies and our card mat dies. I know that's a lot, guys. Then I'm using American Crafts Christmas foil. I'll be using silver P13 stamping pad skin tones. Remember, that's at Jada Blossom. Happy Camper from Echo Park, the six inch pad. And I'm using the 12 inch paper line um, from Echo Park. It's a day in a life and it's just this light blue color. And I'm using ripe avocado from Paper Tray Ink. So this is a piece, uh, or this is a card base, an A2 size card base made with Jimin Tindalo wood grain cardstock. It's just a craft wood grain, cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches to give you a vertical A2 size card. Now I'm going to be sticking down my card mat die. And that was cut with the card mat dies, obviously, out of that A Day in a Life uh, Echo Park solids. Remember, a lot of the Echo Park solids match all the different lines because a lot of the color families are the same. So, um, you know, if there's a light blue in an Echo Park paper um, line, it'll probably match another Echo Park paper line with a light blue. It's just, that's why I like, I love Echo Park paper. Same with Doodlebug, it's the same idea. Okay, now on the inside, I'm adding a cheapo piece of cardstock, Nina Solar White, 80 pound, cut at four by five and a quarter inches, just to give you somewhere to write, although you could write on the craft, it would be fine, but you know, I'm crazy like that. Okay, so next I'm going to use a scrap of paper from that Echo Park Happy Camper six inch pad. And it's just a one inch strip or around there. So I'm adding that with my ATG tape. I'm going to add that along the white, bottom edge there we go and there's a hole in it but i'll just cover that up you know no one will know but you and me that that's there i'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors i love the wood grain on that paper isn't that fun i think that lawn fawn might have that don't quote me but like they might have a version um, if it says wood grain craft cardstock you're good to go next i'm adding on a strip of paper this is also from that six inch paper paper pad, Happy Camper. And I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. I'm just covering up that hole. And then next I cut out this with this zigzag die, that's our border dies from Jada Blossom. And I'm going to add that on. That is also from that six inch pad. Now I'm pulling out my Barely Art glue and then I'll add this on just for fun. I think it just adds a little something something, right? And, um, you know, makes things a little bit more special. At least I like to think so. So I'm going to kind of center that, you know, but, you know, try to get the zigzags even if you can, you know what I mean, between the uh, two sides of the card there. And there we go. And then I will cut off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. Now I know this G Mintendolo, um, I used to get it at, um, Oh, I can't even remember the name of the store. Um, <laughs> is it scrap, scrap, it's not scrapbook.com. It is just a, it's a, a paper store. Anyways, um, oh no, cardstock.com. I think that's what the, what it was called. And uh, they just don't carry it anymore. But like I said, you can get other craft wood grain cardstock papers. So I added that sentiment. That is from that new sentiment set that I mentioned and I added that. That was stamped onto paper tray ink, white cardstock with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. Now I'm going to add a one and three quarter inch strip of, that's that tree paper, to that darker blue paper that is one and seven eighths inches. And that is, that are, they are both from that same Happy Camper six inch pad. And that's that new sentiment set again, sorry, is called the Road Less Traveled Outline Dies and Stamp Set from Jada Blossom, that's that's in this new mini release. So I'm going to add that on, and I'm lining it up with the stitch line on the left-hand side. So it's just touching the stitch line, and I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There we go. And, um, you know, it just, 
This is a very simple card design. I've done this before, you know, just adding on, you know, a contrasting border of, um, you know, pattern. It, it always looks good. So I've got a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock, and I've got a sentiment from that stamp set Gnome Crossing. And I'm going to stamp that in VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink again using my Misty. That's, that's just the best way to go. Don't push too hard. You don't want to squash the letters and make them fatter than they should be, right? Just very gently, multiple times if you need to, and there you go. And then I took the license plate die from that brand new car dies off-road vehicle set. And what I did was I cut it out of white cardstock first, and then I kept the frame, and then I lined it up. And I'll, that way I know that I'll cut that out evenly. Now you could stamp on the little license plate, but this is just the way I like to do it. I tape everything down, make sure nothing moves, and then I'll run it through my Spellbinders and a Griffin Mini Empress machine. And there we go. It says cruising. It's kind of fun. So now I have some American Crafts brown cardstock, or it's kind of like a rust, I guess. And I'm going to ink around the edges with some close to my heart white daisy ink. Remember, it's just a white pigment ink. You could use any kind of white pig pigment ink. They're all, I don't want to say they're all the same, but they're pretty much all the same. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like it's a white pigment ink. It'll sit on the paper. Now this is cut from that same Echo Park um, Happy Camper paper pad. That's the little hat from the Gnome Dye Sports Add-ons one the baseball cap. Now this is from the Gnome Dyes Fishing Add-ons. This is, that is the super cute little tackle set. And that is actually from, I didn't show it to you, but that, that is from the uh, Cartabella, the Great Outdoors six inch pad. Sorry guys. I'm doing a bad job, but I use that, that kind of rattan woven stuff. That's actually from that other paper pad called the Great Outdoors. Now, um, this orange pattern that is from that same paper pad, the one that I mentioned first, Happy Camper. I'm just inking around all the edge. There we go. That's the brim of the hat. And then now I've got a piece of American Crafts black cardstock. That's what I'm using as the base. Remember, it doesn't show. You can use whatever you want. It's just what I chose to use. I'm working on that Stampin' Up! pad, as I always do, using the Barely Art glue. And I'm going to line that up on my gnome. Um, I'm not sure if, if you're a watcher of my videos, but I like to use this white pigment ink around the beards because I find that the mustaches blend into the beards and it kind of makes it look like one solid thing. So I like to use that white ink just to give a little bit of definition in between the two colors. Now you could use it a darker ink if you want, but sometimes when you're using a darker color, it's nice to use a white ink. Um, I would say if you're using a darker skin tone, it's kind of nice to add a little highlight around the edge with, uh, you know, with, with a white pigment ink, just be so it doesn't look so flat. You know, there'd be like reflection and light uh, reflecting off someone's skin. Um, so it's not like all just one color. And, you know, you'd get some highlight around the edge so you get some definition. You know, I just think it looks better that like that. So I tend to do that, especially with the girl gnome, um, gnome dyes because you've got the face and the nose. I, I like to have a little bit of a highlight around that nose just so it stands out. So there we go. I'm adding everything on. I'm keeping everything pretty flat um, underneath that brim. And this is my mistake. I think I probably should have had that nose flat. But I did leave it in, you know, I did leave it um, with, I used Stampin' Up! Dimensional to pop it up, and uh, I did leave it as is. But I show you what, what I do just to, you know, fix things. So I'm just going to go around this again, because I did rub it off. It does take a little bit to dry. You can kind of wipe some of it off otherwise, but, you know, no biggie. Just trimming off any black that's showing. I'm just going to ink around this little guy's hat a little bit more. And there we go. Now I decided the brim of the baseball cap should be more prominent. And I, that's why I probably should have had the nose flat, right? But you know, you live, you learn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that brim a little more prominent. And I, I believe I cut it four times out of paper trank, white cardstock. And then I cut the orange out again. And I'll layer that on top. So there'll be a few layers and it'll, you know, make it a little bit higher up than the nose. So it'll look like a brim. Do you know what I mean? No, you don't have to do this. It looks fine. 
This is just Leanne being crazy again. So I'm layering this all up. You saw that some these are scraps of paper, right? There's some old stamping on there that with, with boo-boos on it. You know, use it. It's not going to show. Now I'm going to add on this brim next. There we go. And then um, there you have it. And I will ink around the edge with some white pigment ink as I just let it dry under an acrylic block first to make sure it dried nice and flat. Now I'm going to run that white pigment ink around the edge, trying not to smear it because I'm not really letting it dry in between, but you know, is what it is. There we go. And then I will add it to the hat as well. And I'll use that. Yeah, see, I'm showing you how thick that is. It's pretty thick, right? I'm hoping it'll give some definition to the brim of the hat. But like I said, this is just Leanne being her crazy self. You do not have to do this, right? There we go. Isn't that cute? Normally, I like to overlap the hats with the nose. But because this is a baseball cap with the brim, I don't want to do that. Do you know what I mean? So there we are. I'm trying to show you the um, the nice, uh, what's it called, the, the definition with the thickness there. Okay, so now I'm going to put together this tackle box. That is from the Gnome Dyes um, fishing add-ons. And I'm adding American Craft Silver Foil to the top. Now this is Canyon Clay cardstock from Paper Tray Inc. I forgot to show that at the beginning of the video. And then that rattan cardstock is actually from the six inch pad, The Great Outdoors from Cartabella, which I also forgot to show you at the beginning of the video. Because, you know, I'm just not that professional, to be honest. Okay, so next I'm going to add these little tabs that I cut out of that same American Crafts Christmas foil and silver, and I'm using my Studio Catia embellishment wand just to get them in place. And I'm trying to line things up, although this is just going to be some equipment I'm throwing in the vehicle. So it doesn't have to be that perfect, but you know, this is Leanne we're talking about. I'm a little bit crazy about details. So I'm going to weight that down and next, we're going to put together this cute little uh, net. Now, that was cut out of Doodlebug's plaid polka dot. Again, another one I didn't show you. I'm sorry. And this is Smoky Shadow cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I'm just going to layer those up. Remember, I always list everything on my blog underneath the recipe. So you just have to go down there and everything will be um, written down. And you can see exactly what I used. There we go. Next, I went ahead and I cut out this um, this really cute fishing rod out of American Crafts gray cardstock. And then I used dark chocolate for the pole. There we go. You'll notice I cut the fish off. And I did that because I'm shoving it in the car like he's on his way to go fishing. Right? And I, you know, he doesn't need a fish hanging off of it. So I'll show you what I do to fix it. So next I'm adding a reel, and that is cut out of that same American Crafts Christmas foil in silver. Then the little handle is cut out of Canyon Clay Paper Tray Ink cardstock. So I'm just going to add some glue and add that on. There we go. So the gray will mimic the fishing line. I know that's a lot thicker than fishing line, but you get the idea. Okay, so there we go. Super cute, right? And then I went ahead and I cut this little fishing bobber out of Paper Tray Ink white cardstock and Pure Poppy. And I'm going to assemble those. Um, the idea is, as you know when you roll up your fishing line and then you've got your bobber kind of hanging from your fishing line, like close to the top of the rod, that's what I'm going for. I'm going for a look like he reeled in his line and, you know, it's set to be ready to, you know, put a hook on there and go fishing. So that's what I'm doing. There we go. So he's got a little bob around there. And there we go. So next we're going to put together this card. Remember, there is a, an assembly video for that car dies off um, off-road vehicle. So you can check that out. Okay, so I cut out the sentiment um, using the outline dies for that road less traveled sentiment. So it says happy truck and birthday. And then I used uh, I made a drop shadow out of that. Um, what's it called? What is that called? Ripe Avocado Paper Train cardstock. Sorry, guys. And I glued them together with some Barely Art glue. I do weight it down so it glues down flat. Next, I'm going to add some ATG tape to the back side of this little truck. And I'm going to add my little, my little guy in there. 
There we go. I'm just seeing, oh, did I put it on the right side or the correct side? And now I'm going to have him kind of tilted to the right. There we go. Isn't that a cute? I love this new car. Now his little beard is hanging out the side, which doesn't make sense. So I'm going to trim that off. And there you have it. Isn't he cute? So cute. Now I've got a little tackle box I'm going to tuck in beside him. I want to tuck it low enough so you can sort of see the handle. So it sort of looks like it's in the back. I'm going to add my little net and add a little bit more ATG tape. Just so everything is stuck down as a unit on my card. It just makes it easier for me to do a card layout like that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to stick everything to the car and then I will add it to my card. So I'm going to tuck my fishing rod in there. I'm going to add a little bit of glue just because this is so thin, right? I'm just going to sort of slip it in there behind the car. Oops, get a little bit more glue. And then we will have a fishing rod in the back. He's just sort of haphazardly thrown all his fishing gear in the back of his vehicle. Isn't that fun? And I do weight it down. So I went ahead and I cut out um, these clouds. They're from the Rainbow Dyes set. I love these clouds. And they're kind of a paper tray white cardstock. And I'm just going to stagger three of them in the background. So I've got one in the upper right. Then I'm going to go um, and sort of see where my little truck is. I'm going to put one on the left. And then I will add one on the lower, like a little bit lower on the right. So I've got a bit of a visual triangle with the white clouds. It doesn't really matter that much, but you know, like I said, Leanne's being crazy. So we might as well, might as well go full crazy, right? Full crazy. Okay. So next we're going to add in that last little cloud. Uh, I will wait until they dry so I can trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. You notice I put the glue on the wrong side of that cloud. See, I make mistakes all the time. I'm just going to add that last cloud in. There we go. And I will weight it down with a big acrylic block. That's a new purchase. Actually, that's from close to my heart. Um, I know they're going out of business or closing doors, but I've always wanted to get that big, huge acrylic block. It's super heavy and big just for literally gluing stuff down on my cards, like especially when I'm working with a card base. I just love the size of it and the weight of it. So it was a good purchase. I actually went on there to order a bunch of envelopes because those are my favorite white envelopes are from there. I just love them. Okay, so next I'm going to add on this super cute off-road vehicle. And of course, you know, I realized, darn it, it's gonna, this sentiment is gonna cover up some of what I worked on there. But what are you gonna do, right? Not perfect, make mistakes all the time. Okay, so I'm going to glue this whole thing down now using that Barely Art glue. Now I could have kept gluing, you know, with my A to G tape, but I decided to just glue it all down. Now, obviously, there's going to be some extra, um, you know, some, some layers are thicker than others. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. I'm just going to get it down and then I will add a few foam squares just, you know, where I think I need them. So I'm just trying to make sure I get this lined up before I stick it down. I don't want to get glue all over the back of my card if I've got to move it, right? So there we go. Everything's lined up. I'm just going to weight down those, you know, the net and the fishing pole. I'll weight down the front of the card. Now I decided I'm going to grab two little small dimensionals from Stampin' Up! And I'm going to pop those behind, beside the side mirrors just to make sure that they don't, um, you know, get ripped off or something when the card is going in and out of an envelope, right? So there we go. And then I'm going to figure out where I'm putting this happy truck and birthday. So I'm adding these, uh, the larger dimensionals on the back of this one. And I'll put a smaller one there in the center, just because, you know, like I said, I'm crazy about stuff like this. And I'm going to peel off all the backings and then I'll pop that on the front of my card as well. Um, I just really, I could have put it on the inside, but I, I wanted a sentiment on the outside of the card other than cruising, right? 
So I'm going to pop that in the upper left hand corner. I know it's going to overlap the net a bit, but hopefully it gives you the gist that is the vehicle is all packed with fishing gear. And there we go. Isn't that cute? I just think it looks adorable. So at this point, I don't realize I don't have hands on the steering wheel. But now I've come back and, I th and I, I'm like, uh-oh, i got to add my little hands. I actually took the pictures of the card, if you could believe it, without, without the hands. And then I thought, uh-oh, i got to redo that. So I'm going to add the little hands on. And then I realize I don't even have the same skin tone. Right? Which looks weird because it's right next to the nose. Why, is it, why are his hands so light compared to his nose? It's silly. So now I've got to, I went ahead and I cut the, you know, the darker skin tone again and we're, we'll just glue them on top it's not a big deal so i'm going to add those two to my little gnome and then we will have a super cute little gnomey driving his vehicle right driving off road to get to his good fishing spot and isn't that cute? Keep on trekking. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on this amazing release. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you come back again and watch some more soon. Bye, everybody.